gonna try to not cough at all this one. We'll see if it happens. Sawate, this is Jack. We haven't started yet. <laughs> okay. Stupid Kelly's laughing. <laughs> we're gonna look at his spells first. Okay. Sawate, this is Jeff. This is David. We're, uh, we're doing Neo. Yes. We're fighting Kelly for real this time. I think I already missed the first one. Oops. Yeah. Uh, fire is <laughs> fire is as long as AOE lightning. It sucks. <laughs> uh, and then he grabs you and he kills you. Sometimes. Okay. That happens. Earth. There's a second goes by and then it erupts from the ground and gives you the stupid earth debuff. Wind is the one that that will actually see the most often, which is a very quick AOE, which lasts longer <laughs> than and just some of his other attacks. Uh, <laughs> Whatever this this kunai yokai realm kunai thing is, he used it one time just to just to just to be annoying, <laughs> just to ruin your uh, pressure. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He can also grab you, but we'll actually see that later. Let's go fight Kelly now. Mm -hmm. That was the Nobunaga room. Now let's go yes. to. The we we will go upstairs to a, an identical room, pretty much. No. Symmetry it's, is yeah, its own it's, form yeah. of beauty. Uh, there's going to be a lot of blood on the mat here. Ah. So, like a, the Kira Kurosawa movie. Okay, yeah. he's got the grab. He can grab you. We've kind of seen what the grab does. It does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. probably kills you. Uh, it's very slow. Uh, much like Nobunaga, we're going to stay close. We're not going to be parrying him, but we are going to be kicking him a lot. And I mean a lot. <laughs> Until <laughs> he gets tired, then we knock him on his butt, and then, oh, yes. Right. The good old bread and butter Eat. dual sword combo. <laughs> uh, I do I do appreciate the visual effects that every single time uh, you uh, sheath your swords, blood goes everywhere. <laughs> he says you clean your blades before going back in for more. Right. Uh, Kelly is pretty easy, fortunately. Okay. Because when you stay up close, he does this weird, yeah, like he covers his face and he'll want to stab or grab, but again, poor, poor rotational, rotational tracking. Poor rotational tracking. <laughs> so it's one to three times, but as long as you dodge to the side, you keep your combo going and you keep your kicks up because, you know, run his key down. His, he has a stupid shield. It like does nothing. I'm not even sure what it does. I like. Is it a parry? I'm not. I don't think. I it think is, it's but. just there to like somewhat justify how he's like stopping the sword from killing him so. all the time. He can, he can teleport. He can do some other things. He, the long range attacks are the ones that are annoying. We saw those in the uh, previous, you know, like the intro basically, right. uh, where he'll use his living weapon to basically cast one of the five elemental spells. Right. But you can interrupt him. So as long as you keep the pressure up and you stay close, it's, it's a very simple, just kind of loop as it's going on right now. So aside from defending him... That one, him, though, whoa. it is important to remember that if he does get a teleport, he'll want to do a grab. Mm -hmm. The teleport breaks the lock on. You can hear it when he warps back in. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the easiest thing I found was to just do a, a double back roll. Uh, because he'll probably try and grab where you were. It's better than trying to spin your camera around and find him. <laughs> right. It's probably not going to end well. So uh, We decided to cut him a few more times and we're done. So aside from, yeah, it was like aside from defending himself with the power of hexagons, like his power is, oh, and you got it. Oh, there him. we go. It'll crush it. I'll, I'll pause there just so you can see the little crusher achievement because uh, it goes right into a cutscene, which immediately goes into the boss, the next boss. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, that's good. We'll save that for the next video. Yeah. Well, that was a short video. Only four uh, minutes very short. And two Kelly seconds. is not. Yeah, it's not a very impressive boss fight. It's fine because it's part of the the triple boss rush at the end of the mission. So right. Now, now remind me, if you beat Kelly and then lose to the next boss, do you have to fight Kelly again? Nope. Oh, huh. Weird. You do not. Uh, I know it's it's great. There there are checkpoints between each of Nobunaga, Kelly, and the next boss. Well, I mean, spoilers. I mean, I mean, I mean so. we don't want to spoil who it is. Uh, Yetmada no Oroki. <laughs> you know what that is. You play Persona. You know exactly. What I know that exactly is. what it was. I just like I had to highlight the file to see what because it was like Yamada no or or dot 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 <laughs> Yamada no or who? Oh right, Orochi, Oroki. How are you supposed oh, to yeah, say yeah. that? It's not just Persona Four. It's Dragon Quest. 
Yeah, it's in it's in things. Yeah. It's almost like it's a famous, you know, Japanese mythological creature. <laughs> yeah. Not quite as popular as a tanuki, but you know. I don't know. It's probably more popular. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. I it's mean, Mar question. Mario kind of did Tanuki good. Sure, that's true. I mean, they, it didn't do an accurate portrayal of a Tanuki, but it did a good job of expanding the PR of the Tanuki. Sure, there was less testi testicles in the actual Mario Brothers games. I mean, Mario didn't use the Tanuki suit to make a home in the testicles of the Tanuki and trick an old man into living in his testicles for several years. Like so that, those didn't things happen. didn't happen. Well, I mean, maybe it, maybe it was like in. The, the backstory, but the actual game that didn't happen. So, so uh, to be fair, uh, but I don't know. Yamato Yamata Yamato no Orochi seems more like um. Well, people might not know what it is, but then you just say, "Oh, it's, it's a Japanese Hydra." Like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's oh, right, has lots of heads. You cut off you cut off the heads, and suddenly they come back, and you know, yeah. there's a famous hero that you know cut them with the, the particular sword, and yeah, okay, yeah, it's, it's yeah. the same kind yeah. of deal. Yeah, and, and depending on which uh, which video game you're playing, might be a plant as well. It just it depends. Okay. What? Wait. What? What game is it? A plant? I just, there was an RPG where it was like a plant dragon instead of a regular Hydra thing. Okay. Well, I guess it's still a dragon. That's probably fine. Right. I mean, I'm not crazy, right? This is a thing. It's not just like a plant. No, it's not just okay. a plant. It's right. uh, that's probably fine. Let's see. Uh, plant. You'll be able to remember it without looking it I up. I did. You know okay. how? How? <laughs> because. Uh, Google knew what I wanted. I just typed Yamada no, and it was like, Aroki? Aroki? <laughs> yes, that is what I wanted. Thank you for knowing me so well, Google. Who killed Yamada no Orochi? Uh, let's see. Uh, I, feel like, I feel like I knew this at one point. I probably looked it up. Was, the, was it the Kusan, Kusanagi that killed it? Um... The legendary sword Kusanagi no Tsurugi, which came from which came from the tail of the Yamato no Orochi, oh, along with Susano. the Yamato no Kagami mirror and the uh, kind of no Suzano no Oh, Suzano. Oh, I I still don't know how to say that name, but Suzano. yes, that one. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, the, I think that both O's are pronounced. Let's see, Suzano O. Was it Suzano O? Who? Yes, yeah, Suzano O slaying the Yamato no Orochi. Okay, I remember some of that stuff. Orochi, however you say that. I'm never going to get it right. Same like, thing with again, Suzano. Ask me, ask me anything about Japanese history, Japanese mythology, and how to pronounce Japanese words. So, who is the Eisu Tokugawa originally allied with? Um, J Jonathan. I, okay. <laughs> um, M Minam Minami. J John Minami. John Minami. That sounds Which like... Which I guess means that John was the clan name. Yeah. The jo the Jonathan clan. <laughs> the Jonathan clan. Yeah, John Minami <laughs> sounds like what we named a Persona character. Because uh, yeah, we wanted... uh, yeah, probably. Uh, probably. That sounds vaguely racist. We probably did that at one point. That's okay. Well, anyways, if you enjoy... <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> like... It was because the first name had to be Bob, and then the second name sure. had to be Japanese sounding. Yes. Wait, so okay, a, yeah, that is kind of racist. It's whatever. It's, it's a fine. Whatever. It is. You know what? It's not that. It's not that racist because people of mix, mixed ethnicities do exist. Okay, you can ha you have plenty of people that have mixed ethnicities. Right. That's that is a true thing. Yes. That is that is why you can you can get awesome name combinations like that. Just historically, let's say in the era that the game takes place, mm -hmm. that probably I'm going to say probably not for sure probably didn't happen <laughs> yeah there's a chance it didn't yeah uh <laughs> dang it i almost made it you almost made it i almost made it through the episode <laughs> Whew. Uh, yeah I've, we're recording three videos in a row and i'm sick so it's great uh whew. gotta get those videos in before the end of the year <laughs> so we can go on vacation yeah <laughs> <sighs> mm. So if you like what, uh, like, if you like the guide, if you found it useful, or if you just like the content we make, uh, feel free to go to Patreon, and you can pledge to support us every month. It makes this way easier for us to do. Uh, if you can't do the monthly thing, then you can do the tips via PayPal. Uh, and if you can't do that, you know, 
tell other people about the show, like comment, subscribe. That's how we get populated on lists so more people can find us. Yep, that sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> Neo, Neo is a game. It that is really fun. And is almost over. Well, I mean, I, there, there's three DLCs that have a bunch of bosses in it, but Our, again, we're not doing those. I was about to say, I thought you said we nope. weren't doing those. <laughs> no, we're, we're very much not doing that. Yeah. Actually, one of the one of my Christmas, let's say, goals. I don't really have goals because I'll be like, oh, I'm going to play these video games. What I'll probably end up doing is like sleeping a lot and watching a lot of YouTube videos and maybe Netflix. Mm -hmm. But I'll say out loud that I, oh, I'll, I will go back and I'll play some of those games that are on my uncompleted game list. You know, like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which every two months I go back to and I play one mission. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's like with me and Doom. <laughs> yep. I'll be like, yeah, all right. Heck yeah. I still get, I get it. I still get it. Yeah. <laughs> still a good game, apparently. Yeah, it's still good. I still enjoy it. I don't want to keep playing it. I'll come back to it in a month or two. Right. So potentially I could play that. I could play the other Neo expansions. I have actually played those. The second and third one. Hmm. I like Neo. Neo's good. I, play, I played a lot of Neo. I played a lot of Dark Souls. Which also contributes to the uh, the neo fatigue as well, yeah. a little bit. But just the general, also just yeah. the boss guide fatigue, and also the, 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 there's that too. Yeah, it's, it's all kind of rolling together. Plus, you know, real life stuff too. Oh, what you anyway. you do something with your time? What? Uh, yes, full time job. Yeah. Playing, well, it's you have a full time it job. It is, it is still playing video games, but but professionally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, for 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 the money, right? Yeah, you get to you get to do that for fun. I get to do court analysis of an old Christmas standard. Said you as though that were not fun for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's fun to a point, but when I've had to do it <laughs> well, for the third time, <laughs> or it's just like, what chord is this even? I'm, uh, because. Okay, so here's the thing. I I don't know if you know this, Jeff, but when people write out piano music like they notate uh -huh. it if it wasn't originally notated for the recording uh they get all of the chords and rhythms wrong i understand yeah yep sometimes yes, they even I just do. straight up I get, get the notes wrong yes like i get no i get it uh, you got <laughs> I've zero seen plenty of transcriptions i was just like no 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 not I really. yeah that was okay great example taking it to the streets you know that song i know of that song because of you talking about this very subject. Ah, did we talk about it on the channel? I th I feel like we probably did. I don't. I don't remember everything that happens in podcast land. <laughs> right. To be fair. Well, because nobody actually listens to all of them, this will be like a fun little callback for those who do. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah exactly. So, taking to the streets has like two parts to it, and the piece of music that that we paid like twelve bucks for or whatever it was got both of them wrong. <laughs> That's 100% wrong. Like, the rhythms weren't right, the notes weren't right, and the chords weren't right. So it's like, well, I mean, we paid this money to save me the time of having to do the transcription. Because generally it's like, buy it, fix a couple things, do the editing, it takes way less time, and that's fine. But, I like, we paid for it, and then they had to pay me to do it. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, so... Long, long story short, don't buy transcriptions of popular music on the internet. Uh, just just figure it out and chart it out yourself. Because you'll be more accurate and learn more, as it turns out. I'm going to talk about Master of Puppets. All right, go for it. Speaking of transcriptions, well, and also music theory stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, as mentioned to you earlier, you well know, as you well know, mm -hmm. I feel like the exposition in a... <laughs> In a movie. <laughs> I'm saying something that you already know for the sake of the audience. <laughs> I only know what I've heard in, in school, so what that Of course. Means. Yes. Uh, I, I, I like rhythms and, and drums, mm -hmm. so I pay attention to that kind of musical theory stuff. I am, I am not so much interested in chord structure as much. Yep. Uh, I, I can appreciate it from a distance, let's say. Uh, but actual rhythms and stuff I, I, I like and I consider myself good at for the most part. Because, you know, you do a thing for, like, over a decade. And you need to be at least a little okay at it. Right. <laughs> Otherwise, something has gone terribly wrong. Right. Terribly, terribly wrong. And Master of Puppets, there is a... In the... Not the very first 
riff, but let's say like the verse riff. There's there's a famous sort of odd time signature that is inserted in there. Now, what is the time signature in your estimation? For Master of Puppets? Yes. The very it's, last part. It's well, it's it's mostly four four, but then is there a mm-hmm. five four at the end of it, or is it like a seven eight? It's like ba da 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 one two three four one two one one two. So it'd be a three four. There's an extra beat in there. <laughs> ask me what I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll ask you what I'm not saying. Uh, I usually interpret it as 5, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Oh, there you go. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Yeah, there seven. you go. Okay, 5, 8. Yes. Um, there are some transcriptions, because I was actually watching it was an interesting YouTube video just dissecting this one rhythm and the different ways that it's been interpreted. Some transcriptions, like official transcriptions, even, will sometimes uh, render it as six eight. Dun 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 Which is not that's too long. Uh I always interpret it as five eight, especially when playing at cover bands and whatnot. Um But uh they did a um they took like the original recording and kind of uh basically put a put a beat map over it based on the tempo. Uh, and it is halfway between those two things. <laughs> it is not... It's it's a little bit longer than 5.8, and it's a little bit shorter than 6.8. So, what that means is, since you can subdivide things in order to create rhythms, mm-hmm. 5.8 is the same as 10.16. Uh, 6.8 would be the same as 12.16, right? Because you, you double them. So it's 11.16? It's 11.16. <laughs> Is like as close as you're gonna get. The real answer is Lars was probably trying to do six eight and <laughs> just played it too fast. Oh. Uh, and then that went on the recording, and then they kept playing it that way for the rest of their careers. And then other people had to interpret it. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lesson here. I'm not sure what it is, but Neo, Neo. Another example of that, which is real fun is uh, um, Back in Black by mm-hmm. uh, ACDC. So that little however you want to sing it. I have seen that written maybe a dozen different ways. What beat does it start on? Does it start it on starts the on the E. Does it start the on the E? Or note. the second yeah. sickening or the no, 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 Yeah, it no. starts on the E, but... E and a four, E and a one. And a three, yeah. And a one, two, three. E and, and a four, four e, e and a one. But, so it's not, it's not just straight notes because there's the bend and the and the the vibrato thing in the middle of it and pull offs and whatnot. So it doesn't sound quite as straight as that, even if it is. But it's really fun seeing, um, let's say, non guitar players, non rock musicians, or just people that aren't getting paid enough to do it in the first place. Uh, notate that out for other instruments and what it generally ends up being is bump 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 ba da 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 dum bump like the full <laughs> well, you know, just, that's uh. that that's an okay simplification that's like you're playing rock band but you're playing on medium difficulty <laughs> right so well it was it was fun playing that with a pet band in college because i i knew the song, like the actual Back in Black, so I was like, alright, let's see how they play it in the pet band. I was like, oh no. This is... Well, I guess I just won't play the riff then. Alright, fine. <laughs> but that's music talk. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you next podcast. That concludes the, <laughs> the, pod, the podcast portion of uh, it is so hard to get people to play in time. Uh, yep. It's Black Dog. Led Zeppelin. Yeah. We have experience just, with that. I've ex- yes. We personally have experience with that. Where we managed did, where did, it. It's just, yeah. it's just what is, how is it even, I'd even, it's just a little different every time. <laughs> how did, how did, how did you end up counting us in? 
I don't remember. I, I would assume it would be two clicks and then it's a it's a three sixteen note pickup. So click click dun 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 <laughs> when Seeker comes back in, and yeah. then we can come back in. Everyone else can go back in. There's a, there's some flexibility there. Pretty much uh, every okay, yeah, Led Zeppelin yeah. song has a little fun thing. Like, all right, we need to we need to go ahead. That, and that's a secret five four in Barracuda. <laughs> I think I had it written as like a three four and a two four instead of a five four. But yeah, <laughs> Barracuda has some fun stuff in it. This right before, right before the key change, <laughs> and living on a prayer. They they need to get to that key change so bad Just that da, they da, drop da, one da, beat. Da, yeah, <laughs> so you, you hit that, you hit that triplet fill, dun 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 dun, and then it goes back. It's completely normal. But when that key change happens, they cannot wait to get there. Cut off that extra beat. It's only in three four. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, and then and then uh, that's when you realize that the song that you chose for karaoke earlier was much easier, and the last thirty seconds of the song are voice destroying. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's and, that's me and Roxanne, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the relationship you have. Yeah, uh, I guess we we go fight a dragon. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go, go fight, fight a dragon. dragon. All right. All right. <laughs>